If you've been looking for a portable PA that's nice and compact, that's ideal for church use, aerobics, keep fit, or general conferencing, or even kiddies parties, then we've probably got the solution here for you with the, uh, the LD Systems Rode Buddy 10. It's Chris here from Full Volume Sound and Lighting. Here we demonstrate, review and set up and test new technology for you to buy. If you're new here, make sure you click the subscribe button down in the corner there. All the products mentioned in this video you can find in the video description links below. So let's jump to it. The LD Systems Robody 10 HBH2. This is the overview of this product. This system comes with the headset microphone and uh, a little belt pack transmitter here which I've got tucked away in my back pocket. Also in this uh, compartment here we have the handheld hand microphone uh, also. I'll just put that down back in there. Talk about that in a short while. Well today we're going to uh, be looking at this highly flexible battery powered portable PA. The LD Systems Robody 10 HBH2. In the bottom compartment here, we've got eight hours of usable battery life. It's 480 watts of peak power and an onboard Bluetooth player. Onboard also is the USB and SD card player to play MP3s in either WMA files, WAV formats, or just general MP3s. There's also, here, we have a little infrared remote control which is included to operate your uh, USB or SD card files. Well, we're now going to have a close-up look at the back of the unit, uh, starting from top to bottom. I think that's probably the easiest way to, to go through it. Now, top left-hand side and the top right-hand side, these are the built-in radio receivers with 16 selectable channels, which are tunable by infrared. So you select the frequency on here, which is numbered uh, 1 to 16. That's it, 1 to 60. I don't want to turn myself off. But uh, you select it on there and then you can pair it via infrared with your uh, belt pack receiver which goes to the, the left hand device. And on the right hand device here we've got the handheld transmitter which is stored in the top compartment uh, which I can show you in a short while. Now just below the aerials, these are the removable aerials which will store in this top unit uh, should you so wish. They'll just unscrew, they're quite easy to remove which I'll just show you now, It'll literally take a matter of seconds should you not wish to use them. That's the, the little portable aerial there, which will fit into the top of the cabinet, like so. Now here we've got the built-in uh, Bluetooth receiver. This is the media player. Now the media player can either play on SD card, it can play on USB, and it can also play by Bluetooth, which you can see on the screen here. Now when you're on uh, MP3 mode, you just select this, there's a little select button here which you can uh, turn it, pull it out which is on MP3 which is on the out position. When it's depressed in it's on the auxiliary. Now, on the auxiliary volume control here that is to go via the mono summed uh, phono sockets there, phono plugs left and right but it mono sums it internally so you get both signals going to the speaker and it also applies to the 3.5mm uh, stereo jack that goes into there as well. Now, if you have got any other devices that you wish to plug in, um, on guitars, for example, or a line level input, these microphone inputs are a dual purpose input connector on jack or three, uh, a 3-pin three XLR, and that's a, a line or microphone input switch at the bottom there, so you can attenuate the input on these two microphone channels or two line channels. There is also uh, there is echo on it as well, which I'll uh, try and demonstrate now because I've got the headset system on. Now I can increase the echo, one, two, one, two, which is ideal for own karaoke, own parties, or if uh, a place of worship, for example, just sometimes likes to have that echo, echo effect on. One, two, which you can increase or decrease as you feel that you need it to do, um, which we've got on that little control there, but for the moment I've turned it off. Uh, here we've got the maximum volume control, which is the power and little uh, limiting light. 
Now also for the microphone there's an input volume control on the actual transmitter, uh, transmitter receiver there which you can increase or decrease the overall balance of sound uh, which you can alter with that uh, in combination with your microphone and the maximum volume which will be a balance with the music source that you're playing as well. And then just slightly below that we've got the low frequencies which is your bass frequencies or the high frequencies which is your treble frequencies of course. Now that's a, a global EQ that will work with over microphones and the music that you're playing at the same time. Now say for example you've got uh, this device here and you want to use the onboard mixer and send it out to another speaker somewhere like a powered speaker. This unit does have a line level out. So you've got a, a powered mixer or another amplifier with a pair of speakers that you want to send a signal from this mixer here out. You can go come out by the line level out. Now at the moment we're using it on the built-in power, which you can see. And on the built-in power, uh, it's actually charging the battery as well, which gives a, a battery condition there, as you can see. Now that is it's quite an helpful LED display, so you can see how much uh, battery life you've got. But I say it's about eight hours uh, user uh, battery life on that. So I'll demonstrate that just by disconnecting the power now, which is uh, no, not affecting the um, power signal in any way. But we can plug it back in, and you can see the charge light instantly comes back on. So it will charge uh, when it's on power input. Um, but of course, it gives you that freedom of, of using it as a portable battery PA. Now we'll have a quick look at the top sections, the, uh, the uh, cabinet on the top. I'm going to zoom out now and then just uh, let you have a look at that. We're now going to have a, a, a little demonstration of the, uh, just disconnect the power from it. So it's now currently working on battery, which I'm uh, swizzling it round. Now on, uh, we do have it on wheels, which you can see, you can wheel it around, which is quite useful. But they are substantial rubber type wheels as opposed to sort of a hard plastic tie wheel and the hard plastic are a bit uh, a bit more unforgiving on uh, a gravel type path for example or uneven ground but the rubber ones are a little bit more forgiving on uh, on that kind of terrain but you do have a, a handle that you can extend to whatever height that you uh, you require it to and also on the top here I shall uh, move this around and just give you a, a little insight into it just open that, you press it, and then inside there, there is a little storage compartment which we can use for the handle microphone, which sits in there nicely. And there's also provision to put the aerials that will sit in there, the handle remote will sit in there, and uh, a few other cables, for example, a few uh, MP3 type cables that you may use for your Android or iPhone type devices. And, uh, and that about sums it up, guys. Um, if you are looking for a battery, portable PA, but a, a good quality one, then I think you will have found it with this. It's a great little unit. This is the LD Systems Road Buddy 10. Road Buddy 10 with a 10-inch driver. Come down and check it out in our showroom. To check the price, just click on the link below to go straight to our website. We hope this short video has been of help to you. If it has, please like and share. If you would like to keep up with all the great technology here at Full Volume, please subscribe. Thank you for watching Full Volume TV.